Thousands of armed police officers and soldiers patrolled the streets in Srinagar to enforce the indefinite curfew on the city and many other Muslim towns in the volatile Himalayan region. Announcements broadcast over loud hailers warned people to stay indoors, but journalists said some protesters had taken to the streets and were targeted with tear gas. The Indian-controlled region, which has a Muslim majority, has been in turmoil over the weekend. Shops were shut as part of a three-day general strike which began yesterday. A mass protest on Friday was the largest in two months of angry rallies staged in the Indian-administered part of Kashmir. More than a quarter of a million people thronged a main square in Srinagar, responding to a call by a coalition of separatist political parties. Muslims have been agitating for the region to leave India, and almost 70,000 people have died in violence since 1989. Insurgents want either to merge with Pakistan or establish an independent state. Talks have been opened over the weekend aimed at resolving the most recent dispute to provoke unrest. A state government plan to donate land for a Hindu shrine in the Kashmir Valley had to be reversed after massive Muslim protests, and that in turn angered Hindus. A third round of discussions takes place today to hammer out a settlement. Jane Bennett-Powell, BBC News.